year is with Red and Bobby. Welcome to the year is podcast from a different studio. Yep. We're in Vauxhall because Jody is ill with coronavirus. So he says. Yeah. He might have just want a week off from your energy, right? Mm, could be. And another exciting new thing has happened. New mm. studio, no Jody. And our first guest, Mr. Finn Taylor. Hey, what an honor. Hello, Finn. Thanks. Hi, well, welcome to the Year Is podcast. Um, have you listened to us before? No. Okay. Well, there's I've, like 13 I've the, episodes. I've seen the clips. You've seen the clips? Yeah. Well, I've seen the first like 10 seconds of the clip. <laughs> and then I just keep scrolling. That was, that's not a choice, though. That's <laughs> Instagram made you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's, it's only because my thumb's a bit shit. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, can't do why, why, I can't. I don't want to see oh, this. No. But, um, Stop. <laughs> no, the clip, they, 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 they look great. Yeah, yeah. You've got some nice kit. Good setup. You, good yeah. blue wall. Lovely blue wall. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. striking. <laughs> it really takes me. You go, whoa. And then you go, I don't want to listen to that. And yeah. Past, yeah. Everything's perfect apart from what's being said. Yeah. This is the issue. The content. We had you on because you have been one of the first uh, British people to sign up to go to Ukraine yeah, and fight, yeah. and we yeah, wanted yeah, yeah. to hear your perspective mm. on that. Well, uh, not many people are going over to fight for the Russians, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, they've got the right idea. Yeah. Listen, Ukraine, what is it? Yeah. Fucking, it's basically Russia. Uh, they're just, they're, they're all, they all like cabbage. I think you get on with it. That's the, the quicker, clip we're releasing, the Finn. Quicker, that's the clip. You the like quicker, the clips? The quicker you surrender, the easier this will be. <laughs> and I will lay down my life for the Russian Federation to expand. It's called Laban's Realm. Okay. What a way to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the clip we're going to release yeah, with no well, context. I, I know that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Can you imagine the death threats you would get? Well, you've already been in trouble online before, haven't you, Finn? Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I sort of walk into the fire quite a few times. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, I did have I Got News For You, yeah. uh, which as you rightly said, Bobby, what's that? <laughs> People <laughs> watching. Um, it was a long-running panel show, and uh, I made a joke about, well, it was a joke about scale. It was a joke yeah. about how many Jeremy Corbyn supporters there are, and the whole, they were holding the opposition party hostage at the time. And I said, oh, it's not that many people, really, in the grand scheme of things. All you'd have to do is bomb Glastonbury, <laughs> and it wouldn't be a problem, <laughs> right? A joke about scale. Yeah. But who we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you were trending. Well, yeah, yeah. First thing <laughs> I've ever been trending. You're trending. Did you get DMs like saying "fuck you"? No, because you have to. You have to be followed by. Oh, you, you have to follow that. I don't oh, follow so that's not too people. bad. I got quite a lot. Of, I got quite a lot of messages. Um, What's my, it like just being sat at home? Your phone just going ding, ding, and everybody well, was, it was just during, twat, it, was <laughs> so it was lockdown as well, so yeah. you couldn't distract yourself. You yeah, just, yeah, it's I'll, not like I'll tell you, you what I did. For a walk. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I went to I went to Waitrose Ballam. I thought I'm not going to be any of these fuckers in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a there great place to hide. Palestinian flags in the Waitrose Ballam. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just go there and hang out for a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty intense. Um, but it, but it, it sort of goes in a week. They yeah, find someone else to. Yeah, there's a new someone. thing. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone say anything that stood out, like about like the way you look, or just something that that caught? And you're like, oh, actually, I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was all it was all just you're privately educated, therefore you must mean this. And, oh, okay, uh, okay. I mean, like the production company got a genuine bomb threat through the letterbox the next day. Um, which is insane. You, so they're it's, they're responding to your bomb joke with a bomb, bomb threat. threat. Yeah, yeah, you know, which is yeah, doesn't really escalation, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> like it's that easy to make a bomb. Like people yeah. are like, I'm gonna bomb you. Well, go make a bomb. How yeah. long? That's gonna take a while. Mm. Yeah. Although I saw this video yesterday of a, a former uh, Ukrainian prime minister doing an online TikTok tutorial of how to make <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine like Gordon Brown yeah. going on TikTok and yeah. like, telling you how to make a pipe bomb? Be, it's insane. He's so boring though. You need someone a bit more, uh, a bit more fun. I can imagine Boris making a video where he tells you how to make a bomb and then blows himself up at the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how Boris dies. By, by mistake. Because there was that yeah. video, do you remember the ISIS video when they were um, on, the, on the back of the trailer and they had the... Uh, what's the what, rocket launch? I don't watch yeah. that many ISIS videos, well, yeah, Fred. You, you should. They're great. Was this um, on Amazon? Or <laughs> yeah, no, it was just a clip on the internet. And they were like, they're like chanting and then they go off in this thing ready to go and shoot their missile launchers. And he goes over a bump and they were just go, ah, and the thing just blows up. 
<laughs> but they're like fist pumps at first and yeah. stuff. And then it just uh, backfires massively. It's you not all fun and ISIS. You don't see that many speed bumps in Syria. No, it was like a, so they're in the, like on the uh, rocky terrain. Yeah. So it was not a speed oh, bump. Right. It's just something just went dumb. And uh, one guy actually got off and ran because he could. He knew it was going <laughs> to fucking <laughs> He managed to get away with his life. Anyway, it's a pleasure to be here. (laughs) I like the tone of this podcast already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we haven't even said it yet, but the year we are going back to this episode is 1912. Yeah. So, we... Yeah, go on, Bobby, tell him what we do. No, he knows what we do. He's he's watched 10 seconds of the clips. Sometimes. sometimes. Some clips. Off off camera, we've already told him what happens. We don't need to tell him on camera what is going to happen in the episode. Okay, carry on then, go on. All right. Introduce the first story, Red. 1912, British polar explorer Robert Falcon Scott, what a name, and a team of four reached the South Pole to find that Roald Amundsen had beaten them to it. Gutting. Do you know about this? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm always reading about <laughs> Roald Amundsen. <laughs> well, what the what? fuck is Roald? <laughs> Firstly, who's called Roald anymore? Well, this is 1912, so right, okay. they were back then. Roald Amundsen. Mm-hmm. He was bring, an explorer. We could bring that name back with yeah, the next Roald. generation. So hang on, so Brit- a British guy goes to the South Pole. You know, that is Scott of the Antarctic. Yeah. Yeah, so that's him. Well, he say goes, that then. His real name was Robert Falcon Scott. He, he, was born, he wasn't born Scott of the Antarctic. I'm trying to keep a bit of... Uh, right, I see. So yeah. Scott, Scott... Scott of the Antarctic. He goes to um, try and reach the South Pole. And well, he's, if he's Scott of the Antarctic, what's rolled then? <laughs> I don't know. But... <laughs> rolled, rolled the late. Yeah, no, no, rolled was first. So he beats him to it. Um, by five weeks, which is quite, it's not as, yeah. In Antarctic sailing that, terms, that's, that's pretty yeah, 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 close. Yeah, yeah. You, don't need, yeah, you don't need anything for that. Um, he, so he beats him to it, and then Scott the Antarctic ends up dying, freezing to death on the 29th of March. Um, so it was basically a whole waste of time. How they, did Roald do? Did Roald die? Well, but no, he survived. He got there, planted the flag. So we, you know, what, it was a what flag? Uh, Scandin- he was Scandinavian, so I don't know which one. Uh, could have been Norway, could have been Denmark. Why do they even have flags? Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? They don't fight. He, he was he was Scandinavian. Let's just put it that They're way. They're not fighting for their flags. Fuck them. You know, you know what? <laughs> you don't get a flag if you don't have a standing army that you're going to use. No, that's a fair point. <laughs> I think they have armies. Iceland doesn't have an army. Does Sweden have an army? Yeah, Sweden has an army. I reckon we could take the Swedish army. Us three. Do you know what? I don't. Do you know what? Let's Fuck it. Let's, let's, let's take the Swedes. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to start another. Putin Putin is weak because he's going after a neighbour. The real strength is when you go after someone fucking miles away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, Brits yeah. have always done. Let's get a flight over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lagered up on the Ryanair. <laughs> just take them. Take them. <laughs> Where's your army? As soon as it's we that land down there. the plane, just start barreling <laughs> yeah, for airport yeah. security. Um... So he dies. It was, it was it was a race to get to the South Pole, um, and they. But why? It's all just ice, isn't it? I don't. I've never understood it. Why would you go? Yeah, I need to go along point? this for as long as possible. If I was an explorer and someone was like, "Okay, so you want to explore? What are you going to do?" And people are like, "I'm going to like a tropical island, so I can." You know, have sex with all the yeah, indigenous yeah, goes to people. Thailand. That's exciting. They eat people over here. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm going to yeah. go watch them eat people. Try yeah. not to be eaten, or like you know, or there's just like oh, there's like mangoes that grow on trees, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like this yeah. sounds amazing. And bananas, and someone's like, I'm just going to the dead ice world. <laughs> yeah. Just going I'm just going, ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, heart, I, I, I think that there was once trees there. So I'm going to go investigate whether or not there were trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it's so, yeah, it's so boring. Not, it's so not worth it. Well, he did discover, he was found with the first Arctic fossils when they found him dead, um, which proved there was once trees on the Arctic. Um, yeah, so, so that was, you know, but he's dead. And the other guy gets all the glory, gets to come home and, and tell the tall tales. What I found out is they, they, um, they took pills that were called forced march pills, a mixture of cocaine and caffeine. That makes sense. Yeah, so they're but just pro plus, pretty much. But it's got coke in it, like right. Yeah. So no, they were right. uh, just popping those all the time, which um... it's mental, isn't it? How like this is more of a thing in the sixties, but how what's that? Was it Hoover, the FBI president? He was just on vitamins. Yeah, yeah, quotes. yeah. And I mean, that was just speed. Yeah, yeah, of course. It was just like you got a cold, have some speed. 
And what was Kennedy was on something like that as well. I listened to a podcast. They said he was always on on all sorts of yeah, drugs. Man, he's on speed. Marilyn Monroe sucking him off. Yeah. <laughs> he had to be taken out. His life was too good. <laughs> was, his life was, was too killing good. it too yeah. much. I bet it was just a divorced man that doesn't fuck anyone who shot Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I've had enough of this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen who you've been deep dicking, and I no more, sir. Deep, deep you're dicking. De- you've been you've deep dicked for the last time. Your your dick has seen enough, and yeah. it needs to go into the dirt. I'm ba- I'm not burying you, JFK. Well, Okay, I'm that's, burying your dick. That's why the second shooter got him in the dick. I yeah. suppose. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original target. Um, Deep dicking. I've never heard that. I've never heard it. That sounds like you, something you, Scott of the Antarctic would do. Yeah. <laughs> drill, a, like, drill a hole in the ice and shove his <laughs> dick in it. Yeah. That's Try the thing. Catch fish with that's, it. that's actually a, a logical explanation for why you'd go to the Arctic if you're like, I, I just like to fuck ice. <laughs> like, that's. Uh, I Look, it's not easy to find a solid block of ice, and I have a lot of thrust behind me, so if I want to fuck ice and it doesn't break, my, I have to go to the Arctic. My problem with glory holes is they're too lateral. <laughs> yes. I want to lie face down <laughs> yeah. also, and fuck down. Yeah, the, I the, like it. The fear of a killer whale breaching the ice adds the excitement. Wow. Yeah. 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 So and if you can get through the ice and then through the blow blowhole, <laughs> yeah. that is a dart 180. Yeah. Right that's, a, that's a sweet spot. You could yeah. never sleep with a woman again after but that. Then surely, <laughs> surely the whale would just keep moving below the ice and you'd be like, ah, uh, you'd run you'd along with it. scrape along the ice. You yeah, might enjoy it. You, when you say might. scraped, I say dragged into love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd be weird because you were in all that kit. So there's just loads of men out in the freezing cold, high on coke. Uh, <laughs> What do you do? Berlin yeah. nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a smoking area in Berlin. Yeah. Everyone's just gacked up. Yeah. They, and they never bring women on these things. No, never. It's always like, no, no, it has to be all men. I'm sure someone is like, why don't we just like bring our wives? I'd like to have no. sex. It is funny that all the explorers were closeted gays. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's got to be Matt. No, sorry, lad. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be. I've got to get me and the fellas. It's too dangerous for women. We're all going to. And then they're just, they're just circling. We have port. to discover the South Pole. All they're doing is just in Portsmouth Harbour on a ship fucking <laughs> yeah, each other. They get out of the Isle of Wight and just start blowing each other and going, also, nine months later, yeah, no, it was just ice. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, just yeah. ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so like they just sit. They just like oh, it's not like it, there's a load of skill involved in sitting on a ship while it. You know, there's the people who do the sailings, the people, yeah. do, but the captain. He's just sitting there being like, yeah, good sailing. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Doing that every now and then. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, throwing someone overboard if they mutiny. Oh, but that- you, just walking, and you go. Some I'm, people must just go. You know what? No. Yeah. yeah. Why? Like, we got to get South Pole. And it's like, but it's probably just like this. What does it matter? Well, those aren't the people who go on a mission. There are yeah, people. Yeah. yeah, that's us. <laughs> yeah. That, that's, the, uh, that's the us of that time. They didn't go on the mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have just stayed in wherever they're from. Of course. No, my, um, my sister's husband's little brother rode the uh, Atlantic. And we rode from New York to Sulcombe in Devon. And I went and watched loads of people like line the shores and watched him come in on his boat. And there was like thousands of people there just cheering him on. And it was like, I thought, I want that bit, but not the, yeah, the yeah, two yeah. months before. You well, know what I mean? You sailed from just round the harbour. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 me too, yeah. I just jumped on with him. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, now, why does Red look fatter than both of them? <laughs> I took you in a boat once. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, Red was having, a, Red was having like some kind of, I don't know, you're in some kind of extreme panic. Mm-hmm. So I said, I wanted to calm him down. So I took him rowing. Yeah, <laughs> that would calm him down. And I think the extreme panic was you wanting to take me rowing. It had the opposite effect. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say this guy needs soothing. Let's 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 take him out to sea. Chuck it it didn't work. Into yeah. wood. I thought an extreme. I thought a situation where you get some exercise would be good. Well, what happened was he just got the. We were on the Thames. The Thames just started taking us, and we could. And you were a rowboat in the Thames. Yeah, How do you yeah, do? yeah. In Richmond, we smashed into the. The guy who gave us the boat said, "Whatever you do, don't go under that bridge." Because I can't remember why, and we just started rowing, and it just didn't work, and we went smash straight into the bridge. Yeah, in front we did. Of him. It was terrible. It wasn't the relaxing experience I hoped it to be. But it here's the work. other thing about the Antarctic: you plant a flag, mm. right, and you go, "There's, I found it." But then, fucking three months later, it melts. Yeah, and your flag just goes into the city. Well, it's snowed in. Is it always snowing there, or does it? I'm, I don't think it. Ma- I think they have like seasons. You watch Attenborough, and occasionally. The polar bears it are like stood on the right. Like, you know, yeah, it depends where you are. Yeah, but it's always pretty cold. You know, um, but so they found um, Scott, they found them all. I reckon he died. They found him six months later, died on 29th of March. But the p- position of their bodies in the tent when they were discovered suggested that Scott was one of the last, th- was the last of the three to die, which is str- like, what, what is the position of the last man to die? 
Well, uh, the other two he were, was giving the deep dick. Were, the other two were fucking and he <laughs> yeah, was there just yeah. fucking jacking it. That, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> he had a frozen cum. <laughs> Wait, did, did they die from being cold or did they die? Well, I looked into it. He died of a heart attack. <laughs> so he could, he could, it was a coat bender in the snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were homosexuals <laughs> who couldn't express how they really felt in so England. They, they so had to like, go to the ice shop. So they, they sat on a boat three and a half months <laughs> into, into the cold, got into the dark and went, you know what? Now it's time. Yeah. Snort this and let's fuck. That uh, that flag they planted was the rainbow one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically like where we are now, Voxel Podcast Studio, is Fire Night Club, which is a gay... It, yeah, it yeah. was basically that, and that's what you had to do. I like the idea, though, that actually the last month of their life was really nice because they could finally be themselves. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they died <laughs> happy, and like we see it as a tragedy that I... But they died being like, you know what? At least we got to express who we really are. Yeah. That's why the na- there's that na- Navy men, they... They say they're gay, isn't it? Well, because, because, because you couldn't be gay on land. Yeah. So you would, oh, you would so you charter go off, a boat and you'd go out to that. sea and you'd... Mm. It's beautiful. It's International really. waters. No, yeah. no blowing each other to where we're at. Exactly. <laughs> so, that's why I, if I run a gay club, I'm going to call it International Waters. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> or the South Pole. Yeah. Well, you can do anything there. Yeah, Listen, exactly. hey, we've kidnapped your grandmother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she lives here and you can fuck a guy. <laughs> Well, that's uh, that covered, Bobby. What what you got from that year? Can I can I just ask a question? Yeah. Why did he wait six months there when someone? So he's arrived. Someone's already beaten him, and then he waited six months and died. Why did no, he just no, no, turn no, no. home? So he arrived. He got there five weeks late. Uh, uh, they got to the place, and the pole was already in. They're like, oh, this fucking road's already been here, and then they died trying to get back to base camp, and their bodies were found uh... eight months later. Okay. Frozen in the tent, mid, mid bang. In 1912, German geophysicist Alfred Wegener first presented his theory of continental drift. What does that mean? Continental drift is the theory that at one point, all of the continents were connected. Could have worked that out way before then. Exactly. Yeah. So when he said it, no one believed him up until the day he died. <laughs> How well, did he prove it on the day he died? I don't know. No, no. He, he wasn't believed until the 1950s when I assume someone looked at a map and realized <laughs> that if you put Africa into South America, it fits perfectly. <laughs> and if you connect Europe and North America, they fit together perfectly. And Australia perfectly connects to... And they all... It's so S- obvious. S- sadly, he died just before the invention of the jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so what he lived, he was mocked for his he life. He was whole for his whole life. Everyone was, was like, joke. that's not true. He was Wagner. like David Icke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had a few loyal lunatics. You're a conspiracy nut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. nut job over here. Alex like, Jones. I so wish I was alive 100 years ago. That's something I'm like, I could have invented that. It's so obvious. Yeah. In terms of like, invent, yeah. But, but his, his the, the concept behind it was, he invented the idea that the continents are drifting. And everyone's like, no, obviously they're in the same place because when you look, they're not moving. Yeah. See, my question is, if they're, dr- they're still drifting, mm. what's going to happen in like however many billions of years? I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess the Earth's going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not my own question. The sun's going to explode and... Yeah. It's all meaningful. Well, right. you think would... we might team up with like Iraq or well, something? Who, no, we're gonna, well, we're going to slot, in, we're towards... slot through the melted uh, a- a- Arctic. Yeah. And then I guess we'll go over the back of, um, I guess we'll go, oh, fuck, we'll be in Korea or something. Oh, fuck. That'd be <laughs> oh, exciting. Dear. I mean, we no, but, no, but we'll, we'll, meet the, we'll meet the North first, won't we? Yeah, the, yeah, you would get to North first. I mean, I'm, say, I'm saying that like I, I know where on a, on a, I mean, the, the Earth's flat in my head at the moment. Yeah, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know where Britain is going over that way to meet. And let's assume it's going that way. We could yeah. go down, we could go down to... Well, um, Gibraltar and rightly take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would think so. If North America was here and then Europe was here, and those they're now really far apart. Yeah. Do you think it went that way, or like which way did it split? I think we were just one big middle thing, and then it just went. Yeah. Because if there's forests in the uh, in South Pole, previously that suggests it wasn't as low a position as it was. So that sort of crumbled off down to the bottom. Basically, it'd be quite funny after <laughs> after hundreds of years of 
like rebel history if Ireland literally became <laughs> Great Britain. <laughs> yeah, it came back. They're like, no! no! Ah! Come on, come on. Like, welcome, welcome aboard, guys. Back. <laughs> That'd oh, be God. well funny. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then the, the Isle of Wight would come back and we just push it. Right? Yeah. We, don't, we push you back. Yeah. We don't, come on. Yeah, thanks. You're good on the island. <laughs> Have you been to the Isle of Wight? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's They're all nice, but they're just like well, of course kind they're of... nice. They're fucking island folk. Yeah. Yeah. They want to stay and fuck you. That's what nice. <laughs> Every time I go there, I feel like my day is going to end with me being put in a wicker man. Yeah. yeah and they just burn it for so they have a good harvest. Tax you, haven, as well, isn't it? Yeah, because you... Cause not they, not they, the Isle of... The Isle of Man, you're thinking. The Isle of Wight is not a tax haven. It's the Isle of Wight, they're like, you know, you want to go home, they're like, Oh, you've missed the last chain ferry. Like, yeah, that's yeah, how old yeah, school yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even a real ferry. It's just <laughs> some guy hauling <laughs> <laughs> the platform on either side. Just a giant comes a chain. <laughs> comes once a month. <laughs> yeah. I do. I like I could have easily thought of that. Do you know do you ever think of inventions and then think if I yeah, if I was alive five hundred years ago, I would have thought of that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah people yeah. get all this credit. Like what would you what, what, what? I would I would I love peanut butter and I could have invented it. <laughs> The thing about peanut butter is it's just peanuts, isn't it? But how are they getting it so smooth? With butter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, though. But it's well, not. Because in, in the back of a jar, it's just peanuts and palm oil. It, it depends what brand you're buying. Right. So yeah, Bobby will buy the I buy one. more processed. No, but you have, the palm oil is key. The palm oil makes yeah, it yeah. that smooth. And it's really apparently it's horrible for the planet. No, no, I, I, but I, I, buy it, I buy it neat. I have palm oil neat. I wash it, I buy it neat. <laughs> drink it yeah yeah it's good stuff like i think i would rather live in a world with climate change than a world with crunchy peanut butter only whoa <laughs> crunchy is better than smooth but with palm oil yeah yeah, yeah. Bobby but you know wakes what I mean. up at 4am to eat peanut butter yeah i'll sometimes wake up in the middle of the night eat a jar of peanut butter and go back to sleep yeah with Christ, a spoon like a small jar but a, with a spoon. <laughs> Man, he's drink wake... eight cokes a day that i wake up and i'm really <laughs> tired at <laughs> look at you you <laughs> You fucking yeah, ghoul. You're, 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 dif you're different sides of uh, <laughs> the same coin, I guess. You're different sides of fucked. <laughs> you're, you're before and after, but but you're t <laughs> there's a happy medium Actually, between the two. Sitting here, Finn, you kind of look like us if we merged into yeah, one. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah. look like our baby. Yeah. You've got his body, my hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's our yeah. baby. Maybe that's why we were drawn to having him as our first guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because symmetrically, you'd look like yeah, if very, we. It must be very pleasing. For the viewers, yeah, yeah. Like, Whoa, what would happen? Face mash. Yeah. What would I have invented? I don't know. You see some of this, like you see when artists were uh, lauded mm. for like a, a sculpture, and I think oh, I could probably fucking. I know. Yeah, well, I could well, well, in 1912, Jackson Pollock was born. Is he that old? He was the one who just froze paint pictures. He just he? saws cows in art. Yeah. yeah. Is that? I thought it was Damon. Is it Damon? Hunt. No, Pollock's yeah. the guy. Pollock's the guy who chucks the... blood. It, Famous yeah, guy who just threw throw... the paint at the... Oh, right, yeah, right, Look right, at right. this. Who's yeah. Damon Hurst? Yeah, Damon Hurst is the one who does the shots for the cows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's mates with Blur and all that. I don't know much about him. He's a tosser. He just saw... He saw... It's just one of his artworks, just a cow saw in Yeah. Arm. And he did the shark as well. We've talked about him before on the pod. Oh, keen listeners will know. Let's hope their memory's better than yours. Give us another gem, Red. 23rd of June was a good year because Alan Turing... Wait, good year? <laughs> fuck's sake. 23rd of June was a good if day. If you don't know what a year is, yeah. <laughs> I would strongly advise you change the name of this podcast. <laughs> That's why we started the podcast. I don't know if you... Well, you obviously don't because you listen to it, but we had a bit of a scandal with the Mary Rose Museum because I got the date of the... You had a scandal with the Mary yeah, Rose Museum? Yeah, they started tweeting us. Oh, right. Yeah, they started tweeting us and commenting on our YouTube and stuff because I got the date of the sinking wrong by 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the algorithm, though. You get a lot of fans in the National Trust. Yeah, well, no, they're, they're not fans. They're just angry. Right. But so, uh, 1912, 23rd of June, Alan Turing was born. Are you aware of him? Yeah, yeah, he's a hero. Massive hero. He's on the £50 note. Mm. Good note to be on because <laughs> only people who use that use it for, for probably buying Coke and yeah. prostitutes. Or giving to a niece or nephew that you haven't seen in ages. Alan Turing was uh, the Enigma machine. Yeah. Which, um, which was a big part of the stopping the Nazis. Yes. And the first computer. 
Oh, of course. And the Turing mm. test. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. What's that? Was that? That's whether you can tell whether so, it's a robot is, is a robot. Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, he was involved in early AI stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So very intelligent man. Had an IQ of 185. What's um, the, what's 15 the, uh, lower than you, Red? Yep, 15 lower than me. 25 lower than me. <clears throat> we did an IQ test on air. You, well, your IQ is 200. No, his is 200. Mine's 100. And, uh, mine was 8185, wasn't it? No, yours was... Your IQ was is 200. No, it was two years was a 90. One no, night, yeah. the, test was, uh, the test was an internet IQ test. Yeah, <laughs> it was a reputable. It's, it's either, the, same the, one either the test was wrong or I have the highest IQ in human history. Yeah. Right, okay. But so, yeah. <laughs> but he but died. I, I choose to think I'm the smartest man who's yeah. ever lived. That's the smart thing to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Why challenge the test? So it'd be nice facts to. It would have been nice to meet Alan Turing and talk to someone who's almost as smart as I am. Yeah. And just say, Alan, <laughs> how are you? What are you learning about right now? Yeah, how yeah. did you deal with it? He probably would have been a big fan of this podcast. It's the only thing he could listen to. He could be, feel seen. Yeah. As a, as a super genius. Well, yeah. He'd be like, "Ah, oh, the Arctic. That's where I had to go." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I he was a—he was, was a gay man who was—he uh, suffered. They, they, I think they tried to convert him. He was given injections oh, and stuff. Than that. Ele- electroshock therapy. Is that right? Worse than that, actually. He was tried for homosexuality, but he took chemical castration oh, over prison sentence. My word! And this is after that was like 1954, 1952. That's after he's saved us from Nazi Germany. And that, yeah. So he invented the enigma. He could crack the enigma. He, you know, found out all the what all the messages meant and st- millions of submarines from being sunk and stuff like that. And then they go, "Brilliant, thanks a lot." You know, give him all this respect. And then he's like, "Oh, you you blew a man, so now you don't get any of the respect." You know, it's terrible, Oof. really bad. There's also so he died. He committed suicide, but it's kind of <clears throat> he bit an apple laced with cyanide, and that apparently the apple that we see now on our Macs is inspired by him. God, that's a fucking cool way to go, though. Yeah, it is. It's wicked. That's like a fairy tale. Do you know what I mean? That's like a dark. I'd bite something a bit more, t- like a donut or something, something more tasty than. Well, hang on. <laughs> hang on. You just, Red, you just eat you, you a just donut. Eat, you, just eat donut. <laughs> you just keep eating donuts till you're fucking hey, tell you what, dead. Tell you, tell, you what, tell you what I do. I wouldn't kill myself. I just eat a donut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, this and, guy thinks he's smart, <laughs> and I'd realize, ah, oh, life could be worse. Yeah. I got donuts at least. Yeah, in a hundred years, it's not going to be a sort of steam job. Don't just... hang on. Don't uh, don't apples. The pips have cyanide in them, so maybe you just bit too far. No, really. Yeah, yeah. The pips. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the the pips. You're right. You're not supposed to eat apple pips. I eat good. apple pips. I eat the whole thing. Oh, fucking look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're slowly you're like, poisoning you're like, yourself. You look like a drug dealer being found in a river. <laughs> <laughs> he said something like that before. It's, yeah. it's, 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 I always get the river thing, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Red gets insulted so much in his appearance, like on our internet and in public as well, yeah. on the bus and stuff. Yeah. Turns out Escobar isn't there. <laughs> yeah, that sort of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah. What did you say about me, Escobar? I can't remember. Some, something along those lines. There's a lot. Drowned, we get a lot of internet trolls. Pablo Escobar. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We get a lot of internet trolls who write in mean stuff. Um, someone said Bobby looks like an ex addict though. And that was good. I just, I am though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you said, yeah, I am. And then he wrote an apology. Do you see that? No. He, he said, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't make jokes about Bobby being an ex-addict when he is. It's like, yeah, but it's fine to call me fat when I currently still am. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck, yeah, yeah, that, fuck that's, you. That, that's, that's the way of the world, I'm afraid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's on the 50 pound note. He's you dies. can't sit in a room and talk out yourself for being fat, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 I thought it would be nice having a guest. The irony on. is that every every month that you go mm. without eating anything fat, you get a chip. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. No. No. So that was quite, you know, an amazing but sad end for Alan Turing. Like an amazing life, sad end, not good. Did a lot of stuff. He was pardoned, wasn't he? He's been p- p- posthumously pardoned. Yeah, in 2009 by yeah, Gordon Brown. It's quite late. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's quite late. late. You'd think like a week after they'd gone, mm, maybe that was fun. Was that a bit... <laughs> well, he killed himself. Even, a, even in the 90s, they were like, he's fine, yeah. all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what do you think, like, I often think this at late at night, what would, like, the way we live now, what is, what's currently weird now that we're going to pardon people for in like 200 years? Mm, who's yeah, who's that gonna be? Yeah, you know that is a hard one, isn't it? Dr- I think drug, some drug crimes for sure. Drug, yeah, yeah drug yeah. crimes, like marijuana. People, like if you had a very empathetic view towards drug addiction, drug addiction. Um, I don't think you would put someone in jail for smoking crack. Yeah, no, or you go, for okay. you'd just be like, oh, this is clearly the guy. If you look at the brain chemistry of the person when they get high and what that does to their brain, how that changes their brain. It's like, well, they didn't have a... IQ's 200. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't have, but they didn't have a chance, you know? Like, yeah, 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 of course they're addicted. Yeah, what would be Jeffrey Epstein? 
Yeah, <laughs> he'll, he'll come good. He'll come good. He'll come good. Okay, we're so the long sorry. arc of history bends yeah. in his favour. I think he'll be on the hundred pound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andrew, you're right. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> you had a joke like this, and uh, you you're special. We should mention yeah, yeah, you're special. Yeah. Do so that at the Finn, end. Well, I'm sorry. doing it right Do now. It now. Go on. It, 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 you have no a great joke. The end anyway, in your go on. You, why do you have to interrupt? I'm not now. Oh. You have a great joke in your special about Prince Andrew. Thanks, man. That was I saw on your Twitter, and then um, he might. I mean, I'm not going to do the joke, but Finn has a special out right now. Yeah, what's it called? It's called So My Wife, and uh, it's on YouTube. Um, and yeah, it's completely free. Pretty free to watch. Watch it. It's watch a great YouTube. hour. I watched it the day it came out. Oh, thanks, man. The full thing, all yeah, of it. That's great. I yeah, liked yeah. most of it. Thanks, man. <laughs> from, no, I mean, I liked well, it. I it's it's from a comic, like. that's a really high praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, yeah. I like most of it. Well, to be honest, just watching the whole thing, because a lot of specials, I get like five minutes in and go, ah, and sort of shut my laptop. I even ones I like. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I've only watched like 20 minutes of a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. hour before. Yeah. Even people I really like, I've been to see live, and after 40 minutes, I'm done. I'm, yeah, I'm just, absolutely fine, because you get yeah. it. You get you go, yeah, you, you get it all. You hate that. Yeah, Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've made your point. Yeah. I think comedy, I, doing an hour in Edinburgh, is inside, look, it should be half an hour. You don't need any more oh, of one person. You have to get your excuses in now, Yeah, right? I know. I, I am. <laughs> uh, do you want to do a split show? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, but anyway, yeah, Epstein will come good. He will. Epstein I think will everyone will realise um, the invention of the party island. <laughs> <laughs> be respected for it in years to come. Um, and maybe, yeah, the, some uh, media mogul or, or des- uh, inventor will have Epstein's. Uh, I did have a joke <laughs> hanging about how, himself how as, it... as the logo <laughs> for their product. I did have a joke about how it wasn't in the special, but it's, but it's quite funny that of all the places for there to be like Epstein's kind of paedophile global mm. sex trafficking ring. He based it in the Virgin Islands. I mean, that is quite yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the FBI, you'd be like, oh, fuck, we should have looked there first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. In fucking face. He's flying out there in this plane called Lolita. Virgin, <laughs> Virgin Atlantic. Yeah. No, but what was his plane called? Lolita or something, wasn't it? Lolita Express. That yeah. was a nickname, though. I don't think, uh, I think that was on the side know, of the plane. It? <laughs> <laughs> you thought they put that on? They might have done. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't just make his island Madagascar, because there's like 12 consent there. I don't know, I might be wrong, but Italy's 14. It's like, why don't you just move to no, Rome? Italy, 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 this Italy, is more Italy, false. Italy, there's no age. <laughs> really? Your Honor. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, this Italy, is more no fa- I feel like this is more false information. It's not. I'm going to Google it. I'm pretty You're sure. You're not even on the Wi-Fi. I am. Of course I am. Age of consent, Italy. No, <laughs> Why are we Googling this? Yeah. Because we're going to see where Epstein could... 14 years You're old. Right. Thank you very much. Hang on, get that whole, get that website up. Age of consent by country. Um, <laughs> I'm just planning my next tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 14 in Italy, 16 in Russia. So that's good for you, Finn, when you join the army. <laughs> oh my, this is awful. Philippines, 12 years old. Oof. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. So why, yeah, just move there, Jeffrey. You got the money. You could buy, with his money, you could have bought a lot more. Than he could have in Florida, you know. Anyway, uh, I will leave this. Thailand's fifteen. If anyone's <laughs> stuck in the <laughs> Sweden's fifteen. Yeah, that's it. They're all banging. That's why they're not in the army. Do you want to co-host a podcast? <laughs> oh, shit. Do you think you'd be good at co-hosting a podcast? Well, email me directly, <laughs> and you might be the new co-host of the year is. Well, he, he he asked, wait, the year is. <laughs> that's a podcast. <laughs> Go through country, <laughs> see what year age they have to be. <laughs> Christ. What a, that'd be a, that'd be a vice doc in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to every country and fucked the youngest girl that's allowed. Yeah. There's a, I remember everyone would be like, "Vice is so cool," and then there was a vice doc where a guy just uh, went, they filmed a guy in South America where, where people fuck goats, and he they filmed a guy fucking a goat, and then they made it seem like everyone does that, and then other people were like, "Yeah, I mean, we don't fuck goats. That's it's just the, that guy." Just <laughs> yeah. And then vice, I think all the people that work for vice, um, there's quite it was a little big climate of sexual harassment, and the women tried to form a union. Yeah, the female yeah. Like, vice went, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, people, people, started fired. Leaving, people started leaving the not yeah, cool anymore. Yeah, that was like company. two, three years ago. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. There was big, big chaos there. Okay, well, in 1912, mm-hmm. the Titanic, yeah, it it departed from port. 
Yeah, I think it did more than That's that. That's the whole story, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 That's yeah, the whole story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird, weirdly short film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just a ship leaving a harbour and everyone yeah. waving. All I read about was this ship, the Titanic, yeah. mm-hmm. that left port. I know that it departed. Whatever happened to it after that, I didn't do any research about. Right. <laughs> So if you know more than I do, <laughs> yeah, you got then bored. let me know what happened. You got, but will it sank, Bobby? Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Everyone died. Well, most people died. A lot of people oh died. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. If you believe that, why? why is there a theory? <laughs> Well, here's the thing, right? <laughs> okay. Here we when, go. when 9/11 happened, it happened in front of everyone. Mm-hmm. Titanic, it just left, and then you just didn't see it again. Very good point, actually. So how does anyone know it sank? Yeah, yeah. I think because they found all the dead people in the water. But probably. yeah, um, I don't know because they were very far out. Maybe yeah. they're all still alive on the North Pole. I think they're all fucking. Well, someone who yeah, just found out coke and having sex about this until... boat sinking. That's where I... Hitler and Biggie and Tupac are. They're on the Titanic, <laughs> yeah. man. And they're in international wars. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I want to live as a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theory that Hitler's in Brazil. Have you seen that photo? No. Uh, there was a theory that maybe not now. It's quite, it's quite a long while ago, but um. Because obviously mm. all, all the Nazis fucked off to South America because they're like, yeah, 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 you can come here. Yeah, 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 and, of course. Um, but um, there's this, supposedly there's this photo you can look it up of Hitler in Brazil in 1970 in like a Fuck. resort shirt with um, this <laughs> black girlfriend. And everyone's like, I don't think that's Hitler for the very simple reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a a yeah. black woman on his arm. A, it looks just like and him, but there's a slight that problem. That would be the biggest U-turn in history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, me and Bobby had an idea for what was, yeah we had an idea for a book called uh, My My Second Life by Adolf Hitler as if he'd gone to South America and what he would take on. For is, the... that, is that it? Is that the yeah, theory? this is it. This doesn't look like Hitler. I'm sorry. Well, of course, but... of course, it's not. No, that's not Hitler. Imagine being. Well, it's just, it's just, that could be just, anyone. Just some guy, <laughs> that isn't could it? be fucking Craig David. <laughs> <laughs> Blurred out. That's just no one. Yeah, but supposedly that's Hitler and same. Nonsense. It's not Hitler. I'm sorry. The last people in Berlin, they burnt his body before they could find it. Well, same with Bin Laden. They took him out to the ocean and Wait, threw him in. Okay, on the site of the Titanic, weirdly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, again, we need, we need to get, we need yeah, to get back alive. on track. So the Titanic sunk. Yep. Titanic sunk. What happened when it sunk? We hit, hit an iceberg. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Again, if you believe that. Okay. <laughs> believe I think it's anything. an inside job. Why didn't they yeah. just avoid the iceberg? Um, because they didn't see it. Uh, oh God. The, the, the captain was. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, he was fucking about. They didn't see the iceberg. They cracked into it. Uh, Titanic was meant to be an unsinkable ship. Uh, this was it Maiden Voyage, so it's the first time it had been out. And... This is reminding me a lot of this movie I saw when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> but I don't remember... Was Leonardo uh... DiCaprio in it? Yes! You remember thinking, the movie? You're thinking of Speed 2. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay! Yeah, basically, the Titanic guy, if he went under 50 miles an hour, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a terrorist was going to blow up the boat. No, I, that's not what happened. <laughs> I remember he drew someone. Yeah, he drew um, Kate Winslet. Okay, was that... That was... Uh... But that that was that in the history books. What him drawing the Kate Winslet was she playing? She, no, she plays someone who's a made up character who oh. falls in love with an Irish boy who lives is an American. Strangely, I, t- I tell you, it was the scariest bit of that film. It's nothing to do with the ship. It's when you see Old Rose's feet when she throws the heart of the rose into the ocean. You okay. see her fucking summer old feet. Uh, Fuck that. Why? Because it's uh, old why? people's feet. Is gross. <laughs> <aren't they? laughs> you know I, mean? I can't handle it. <laughs> fucking rice paper skin. I know. It's gross. That it's... was worse than the three thousand people yeah. drowning and screaming. That should be. A, that should be an eight. That should be barred on public <laughs> health grounds. That film. It probably looked like her feet had just been in the water yeah. the whole time. It's fucking horrible. You know when people take a piss out of old men for wearing socks and sandals? Like, yeah. You know what he's fucking sparing you from, man. The guy's a hero. Give him a yeah. medal. Keep his. Keep his feet Varicose out. vein feet uh, I can't handle it It's gross <laughs> Do you hate feet? Are you a feet adverse person? I'm not I'm certainly not into them In a sexual way no. okay. I think past a never certain mind. age Never old, mind old never, No never mind then If you're not into feet In a sexual way <laughs> Never um, mind I, will, sorry, I won't even ask My next question Right okay <laughs> Can I suck your toes? <laughs> I just want to suck your toes like, You look like someone Who has nice yeah. toes I bet you have, you have long toes my second toe is longer than my big toe. That's what I'm into. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I want. We could film that when we start a Patreon. Yeah, yeah. in international waters. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking Finn's toes on a boat. Are you really into long toes? No. Okay. Because I, 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 I know your wife. No, not so intimately that I know. I think <laughs> wait, 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 like. wait, I know a your wife. wait a second. Let's that go back here. So so I imagine your, you know your, the size I imagine of my wife's your, toes. No, I imagine your wife's got short toes. 
Uh, Why do you imagine what is it? Because she's like five foot. Yeah. But, but actually, she's five five. I see everyone as either six foot or five foot. That's yeah. why. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm six two. You're six foot. You're five foot. That's what I see. <laughs> <laughs> you're a normal man. You're a little fucking little man. I'm, That's yeah, what I'm, I see. I'm five eleven. So I'm. Uh, you're yeah, like, you're five foot. Yeah, you're five. So you are it, five foot though. I you round are. it down. That's yeah. no, you meant to round up. Red, red. No, if, but from if there was... five foot. In in a medieval war, you would be a dwarf with an axe. No, I would <laughs> yes, not. Yes, you I would. would be jumping up. In, if in Lord of the Rings, they'd be tossing you. In you the would enemy. be the front line. You would be Cannon part fodder. of a horde. <laughs> That's what you would be. Or on the drum, whether do, it's a dwarf do, do, do. or an ogre, <laughs> you would be part of a horde. I, I think. <laughs> Whereas we are lords. That's how yeah, this works. Yeah. Bobby would not be a lord. <laughs> yes, you could I possibly. Would. Bobby would little be finger. Yeah. I'd be Lord. I'd be little finger. No, you would have been. You'd been part of the peasant I'm crew killed early. <laughs> yeah anyway i imagine your wife's toes are quite um well stumpy i mean not in a bad they way. are she does she like... has barely as toenails my my wife's toes are fucking tiny my my six-month-old baby has got bigger toes than my wife have you got a uh, daughter or son daughter two daughters true they could team up and how old's your daughter start a sketch group <laughs> 10 weeks the crazy girls how old's your kid Sis, uh well she was premature Eight months, but technically six months. But then people say that. Wait, it's like, well, you're never going to say. It's like, it's like she's still not. It's not as if she's doing anything that you know. She just so sits they, in the corner and eats her face. They could end like, up not... going to the same state school. They'll be in the and same I said yeah. state because of the way your on, careers mate. are going. I thought. <laughs> will, will, will she? Will the, wait? Will our kids be in the same grade in this country? Grade school S- year. Sorry, Whatever yeah. you say. I don't know how to. She's not a fucking rock face. Yeah. Uh, they'll be in the same. Yeah. When? This isn't Dawson's yeah, Creek, when was Bobby. your no? Because uh, my daughter was born. First July, so oh, oh no! So and school year September, isn't it? So yeah. Be... Imagine if your daughter bullies Bobby's. I'd be okay with that. Someone yeah. you need. Someone needs to bully you. Yeah, it's yeah true. A yeah. little. Yeah, you might as well know the parents. So yeah, it's not awkward. Can <sighs> you tell her to stop like throwing sand in her face? But like, say the hurtful things, but <laughs> yeah, just yeah, less yeah. violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unstable Mabel could be the nickname. Of my child. Yeah. Well, that, I'm just giving that to oh, Finn's thanks. daughter. Thanks, cool, if, she, if she needs it at school. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, with my kid's parents, she'll be a crier for sure. <laughs> I like, I was debating yesterday about whether or not, like, I'll, uh, if I, like, I think the memory, the, the idea of me could raise my child better than me. Like, if I died, the memory of me being a good person might do a better job raising the kid than I would. Where would she get the memory from? Everyone has to tell her just nice things about me. Mm. Well, that's true, isn't it? When you die, people, you, all, the, all the rough edges go, don't yes. they? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're just great. Yeah. He was a bit wacky. Mm. That's why you want to hold a funeral before you die. No, you don't actually, because everyone wouldn't be sad and they just say what they really thought. The living funeral. You have to be dying to have a living funeral. Yeah. You can't just be like, guys, I really would like it if you told me how great I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wedding, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, this Titanic thing. It's a, it was a big movie. Um, no one at the time when they're dying of drowning in cold would have thought, this is going to be a massive film. Maybe someone did. I think that's what we have to think now. If if you're ever dying in something that is like insane, I yeah. think your last comforting thought should be: I would text someone and be like, "I'd like this person to play me in the movie." I would. Like, I, would I would really get a hundred percent Billy Zane, the character in that, who's Kate Winslet's abusive boyfriend. He tries to flee. Well, Billy Zane's going to play you in the movie of real life. No, he's going to eat a lot of fucking pasta. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's going to be like no. De Niro, Rachel <laughs> Bull. <laughs> I love having guests. I, it, I don't. I want to get a nice one. Let's get like. He's uh, going to eat like pasta for six months. They're going to go, now you got to keep going. Ah, fuck. <laughs> no, I, mean, I meant his character in Titanic would have been probably how I would have dealt with his ship sinking, trying to get on. He, he wears a wig and tries to get on. Oh, uh, he, he cross dresses and becomes. Because and, yeah, women, women and children first. only women first, and children first, and so he gets on. Um, Bobby, I think you would have died in the hull of the ship because you would have had a menial job like cleaning. Uh, you would have died early sh- on when the water blows through the blast furnace and so I can You wouldn't have been on it because you would have died at like eight from. Uh, no, no, some I would disease. have. I would have died uh, after I drove the ship into the iceberg and said, <laughs> "Guys, I thought we could like knock this iceberg you know, out of the way." You know the bit when the film where the ship is starting to tilt mm. and people are like pinging. I see that and I'm like, I, I reckon I could hold on. Do you know what I mean? What, just hold on to the side and hope yeah, you But it'd be so cold, your hands would be really sinks. cold. If you hold yeah, on yeah, to no, the bottom of the ocean. Like, I don't, I'll deal with that bit in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying when it's tilting, yeah. people are slight, I guess it is cold, isn't it? It's fucking freezing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like minus 10 degrees. 
Possibly more. I don't know what the temperature is. Well, in the water, <laughs> but outside. Mm. No, you're right. I thought it was too cold. So Paramount Pictures, um, founded in 1912, 23 days after the sinking of the Titanic, the first film they made, guess what it was about? The Titanic? Yeah. Fucking so literally hell. it happened somewhere. This is a fucking movie. So the movie. first film they made was 90 years later? No, no. <laughs> they, made a, they made a film about the Titanic. Oh, at the time. Yeah, so it would, would have been make... shit. It would have been like a little wooden thing in a bath. Going, the, guy, ah, the guy at a piano. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex- yeah. Exactly. And there's a whole famous thing about the orchestra singing when they go down. Yeah, it probably yeah. wasn't true. They probably dressed up and fucked off as it well. Was screaming, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, the best instrument to have would be the bass. They yeah, just float away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just don't pick you <laughs> just and then the, panel, the guy, yeah. the guy with the fucking like ukulele. You're like, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my bass is my way out of here. And they didn't want to have lifeboats because they thought it ruined the aesthetic of the ship. They didn't have enough. Yeah, yeah. didn't have enough. So they were like, yeah. I get that though. Why you don't want it to look? It ugly. would be ugly. It's just a bunch of like boats reminding you this ship could sink any time, just taking up all the space for your cool shit. Yeah, like on a plane, they um, where do they keep the life jackets? Underneath or above? They keep changing it, don't they? Yeah, but it, but again, I would rather they take the what is the po- life jackets on a plane is pointless. It is pointless. L- it? When was the last time you heard about a plane crashing into water and then all these people surviving and because floating. luckily they had their life jackets? Yeah, it does. Like that's for that is a psychological. Yeah, that's a psychological. The reason there is psychological. It's like bracing. Bracing is only there to protect your teeth so that you can be identified. Because you're, it, you know, in a crash landing, mm-hmm. you know, the, you're, you're, you're flying mm-hmm. through the air in a tub of kerosene. Yeah. You're yeah, not, yeah. That is nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just there to protect the integrity of your skull oh, so that your teeth can be identified. You may as well just go like that. <laughs> you might as well put your mouth <laughs> over the seat in front of you for when the plane lands. <laughs> just right. I am red on your face in market <laughs> and I hope it doesn't get burnt off by yeah. the jet fuel. But it's the same thing. It's psychological. It's just to make you feel like you're in control when you're not, of course. So there's a lady who was on the Titanic called Violet Jessup. Um, very suspicious of this woman. She was a stewardess slash nurse, moonlighting, Aboard the uh, the uh, Titanic, and she was on the Titanic. She was on, also on the Britannic, which sank in 1916, and the Olympic, which sank in 1911. So she survived three boats sinking. Yeah, that is what a bit the fuck isn't is it? going on there? She also wrote her book. Was she really fat? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's the ice boat. They saw her, yeah, they just, saw her bought by a ticket and boarding it. Oh, r- r- for a small one. Here we go. But imagine Get if you ever got on, on board. <laughs> you ever got on anything with her? You go for fuck's sake. You yeah, know, it's it's the lady. You who wouldn't ruins let her. Everything. You would yeah. never let that lady on your. If you had a boat and she was yeah, like, yeah. I, could I? Co- Listen, get away yeah, get from the, me. The Take the hint, you cursed woman. Or I just handcuff myself to her because I know she would be the one who survives. Uh, go, I'm coming with you, but then she'd die because we'd be too much together. I, I think it's all. I think it's all. It's pretty hard to survive a ship sinking when you're handcuffed <laughs> to another fat person. I'm. I'm not. I'm just. I'm big. Um, yeah. So, but she she wrote a book and she didn't mention. She neglected to mention the Olympic, which die, uh, which uh, sunk in 1911. Why? You got to ask those questions. But when she was on the Titanic, she was fleeing the Titanic. She had a she picked up a baby, which is what you do. Um, and a woman said, that's my baby. She handed her the baby. She never knew what happened to the baby. And when she was in her old age, she um, used to get prank calls from kids <laughs> who would say, hello, I am the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and her brother said, they're pranking you. She said, no, they're not. No one else knows that story. And he's like, it's in your book. These are kids from the village. So hang on. A woman mm. said, this is my baby. Yeah. And gave the baby to another woman. Yeah. But, on, but then... Presumably they were close enough that they both could have lived. Yeah. But then she just went and went, fuck it, and just dove into the sea. I think she had the baby. I think she jumped on a boat, but she had the baby and then was like, oh, I've got this baby. And then someone went, that's mine. Could have been anyone's baby. It's a free for all, isn't it? That's a good way to get a baby, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm ever on a sinking ship, I'm like, that kid's mine, that kid's mine, that yeah. kid's mine. Yeah. The, thing about, the, thing about having a, the worst thing about having a baby is all the fucking sex you've got to have first. <laughs> Ideally, it'd just be a horrific boat crash. <laughs> yeah, and then you can just, well, you just get your baby. Just a get a, yeah, exactly. What would you do if you uh, found out in 20 years and you had this amazing kid and it was like, this kid's too good to be mine? Huge superstar, singer charitable person brilliant makes you very proud and then someone goes by the way 20 years ago you switched babies by mistake at the hospital 
and this is actually your baby, and you go, ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> no, it's Bobby. Um, and Daddy, he's, and he's like, Daddy, I'm, I'm so your real. To meet you. And do you tell your kid, or do you? And you're the only of one who knows. Of course, you tell the kid. You no. cannot tell. What them. do you, you have the option just to shut the door to the kid and never speak to them and just keep the good kid? Yeah, Would yeah, you do yeah. that? That's what a basement is for. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. where you put the this shit fucking one. new kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shove him in the basement. Yeah, throw some Kellogg's down there once a day. Yeah. Not even with milk, just scatter him down the <laughs> stairs. All right, we've come to our favorite segment in this show, mm-hmm. Ben, mm-hmm. Uh, which is called Dick of the Year. And our dick of 1912 is Eva Braun, who was born in 1912. Are you familiar with Eva? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, here's the thing. Her name is not Eva Braun. Is it not? Her name is Eva Hitler. (laughs) She married him right before she died. Why why are we giving this woman the dignity of keeping her maiden name when she married uh, Hitler? The troubling fact is that Eva Braun was actually the first feminist icon to keep her own name. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Which is troubling for a lot of people. Eva Hitler Braun. (laughs) The double barrel name. She took it 40 minutes before she died or whatever. She was like, I'm Eva Hitler now. And then everyone was like, oh, cool. You should call her Eva Hitler. Yeah. Um, so she was born then. So what was she born at 35 when she died? Always too young. Suicide, never the option. Um, what's... Was she, was she Austrian or German? I never know that. Cool. She was cool. Yeah, Wherever she, she was, was cool. from, yeah, yeah. she was a really cool, you know. It's... Uh, she had bouts of depression. They, like, I love oh, when really? they talk about, like, yeah, oh, yeah. she, she was sad allergy. sometimes, and you're like, oh, was she? <laughs> Today she'd be... I'd like to see her Instagram campaign of, like, you know. Having a bad mental health day. Looking out on one of... What was his, it was a house called the Eagle's Lair or whatever. Eagle's Looking, Nest. Up Eagle's Nest. Nest. Garden, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sat on the balcony with a selfie going, sometimes you just don't feel yourself. If <laughs> I can't be happy here, where can I be happy? It's so good to get fresh air every now and then, isn't it? <laughs> I've just Googled what she looked like, and there's an article called The Depressing Wedding of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun. <laughs> what, the, the, the cake didn't arrive or something. Um, so they got married in the bunker, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. And then they uh, did joint suicide. Well, she did uh, cyanide and he did gun. Hmm. Well, well, they'd think, what well, because uh, they were all found. Um, I've got a bit about this at the moment. They were, they were all found basically with bullets in them. Mm. And so they think Hitler shot them all. Eva, his dog, and Hitler, and then <laughs> shot himself. And as, shot as, some, as someone who's also got a wife and a dog, I'm very interested in what order you do that in. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you shoot the, you shoot the wife first because it's like an act of kindness. You don't, you don't want, want a dog be, barking. You don't want her to be there when the Russian comes. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I wonder if he like put the gun over the dog and just went, yeah, I changed the plan. Let's go for a walk. So <laughs> <you> mean, like, <laughs> now that nagging stopped, I don't feel so suicidal. Oh, God. oh my, oh my um, God. Um, we can't shoot the because the dog would bark like I'd no, shoot the dog uh, well, first. Actually, no. What they did was they tested the cyanide on the but, dog. Uh, so he made his dog handler hold the dog da- yeah. down, and then they shoved the cyanide into his dog's in mouth. Peanut butter. But then they they all took pills and then shot themselves. Just to double, just to double, double check, because fleeing yeah. fleeing Nazis would say to their wife and kids, "If it's the if it's the Allies, put your hands up. If it's the Russians, take these cyanide. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the Russians will, uh, yeah." Given hey, the current, yeah. That's why I'm going to fight for you. <laughs> you don't want to be captured. That's why you want to pick the army. You don't want to be captured yeah, by Yeah, 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 yeah. How long have they dated? You know, I don't know much about their dating. It was dating, years. They had a long love affair. Mm. And um, she was really... She, well, I mean, what, they've been together a while, so that, that's why Hitler was vegetarian, wasn't it? Because you, when you're with a girl for a few years is what happens. What, what's a, <laughs> they improve your diet, what's generally. A, what's amazing about the fact, like, because their relationship, no one ever knew they were together. Like, the German public had no idea. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It was never public knowledge because Hitler believed that he was sexually attractive to women and he wished to exploit that for political gain. <laughs> that one bald constantly... <laughs> <laughs> really gets him wet. Yeah, that one bald constantly farting fucking <laughs> meth addict. Yeah, they met They met when she was 17. Well, it's a, some would say he groomed her. Yeah, I'd say it was a position of power. He was exploiting his position. How old was he, though? 1929, Hitler. Man, uh, when the Me Too movement hits the Nazis, they're not going to know what hit them. <laughs> they're they're not going to know what's hit them. Yeah, I think we're gonna, some of us are going to have to take down our own swastikas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> 
So he would have been 41, 40, and she was 17. Mm. Whoa, is yeah. he that old? Yeah. Wow. Actually, you know what? I take it back. Not a good guy. No, 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 <laughs> Not no. the guy I thought he was. She I was, didn't know he was she... grooming teens. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's next, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking people. Yeah, you have to throw out my mind count book. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> Actually. Um, yeah, they met. She was a salesman. Hitler. It'd be quite funny then. You sort of think about what their Tinders would have been now and how they. They'd end up with each other, but she clearly he had an effect on women. Though women loved him, there's lots oh, yeah. of lots of he women used to send him stuff and he'd get them sectioned. Like send him letters, and if they were weird, he'd get them sectioned. And then everyone sort of tells story. They go, he likes to sh have people shit on glass tables and stuff. It's funny when someone does like kills millions of people, and then yeah. everyone goes, "By the way, do you hear about <laughs> the shit they were into?" It's like, yeah, I assume. <laughs> this is the other thing. During the uh, Ghislaine Maxwell trial, mm. they had this. Um, they had to be one of Epstein's pool like housekeepers or pool boys or whatever. And he was like, yeah, no, I'm cleaning up all these, I had to clean up all these sex toys all the time. And the British press were like, oh my God, sex toys? <laughs> it was sex traffic. Of course they were. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah, who's yeah, like, yeah, 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 no, sexually, you know, I, uh, sure, I, under, I underage, <laughs> traffic underage minors. Course, I'm not into anything weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use big purple Mission willies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not a freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very uh, it's so conservative. so weird. Yeah, I know when he goes, like, he's had one nut and a micro dick. Because <laughs> <You're like, "What laughs> like? that's why I did it. They're yeah, looking for yeah. reasons. Because so, you know, you can't explain the evil. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. A small dick, <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course he did. The same with Napoleon, they're like, someone found his dick and it was tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Pickled dick. He's got a fat hog and he loved to sling it around. Yeah. Didn't expect that, didn't expect no, 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 his no. fat hog. Yeah, Hitler yeah. was great in the sack. Yeah. yeah. Gandhi, Mandela. They're packing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee Mandela <laughs> fucked. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Martin Luther King was a, was a big uh, big guy in the sack, loved it. Really? Loved the sex. Yeah, he really? was um, apparently had a lot of affairs. Not that, you know, let him crack on. I think if anyone deserves, you know, lots of sex, it's Mandela. No, no, um, um, Martin Luther King and Mandela and Gandhi, Whoa. all of them. I'm just saying everyone. See, well, <laughs> segments were that are not going to make air. <laughs> I'm just saying all the good guys, you know, fair enough. Do what you want. Gandhi did do some weird stuff with Gandhi kids, though. Would, uh, Gandhi would he like, ate. yeah, he'd sleep with them, um, sleep next to underage girls yeah. as like a test. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. That's kind of <laughs> so, is it? Hey, look how much not a paedophile. Yeah, I am. it's fucking hard. <laughs> you have to, if you have to go to the, those extents to prove it. I mean, yeah, we, yeah, it was like the Jesus is like, you know, the night of temptation. Or you know whatever. what I do? I just don't invite them over. Yeah, and that's a good way. <laughs> Seems to not, work for me. Not. Wait, so you're saying Gandhi slept beside kids and didn't do anything? Yeah. As a test of how like virtuous he was. Actually, you know what? I take it back. I do like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of a test when you go, well, just doing that kind of makes you wrong, doesn't it? I think mm -hmm. there's, there's probably a law against it. We can't it. project our values onto the past. <laughs> it's true. We don't, you know. Past another country. My grandfather. And that country is Italy, where the age of consent is 14. 14, yeah. <laughs> My grandfather was 78 when he married my 11 year old grandmother, and. Each their Are you own. Are being serious? <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> you look like you come from that sort of family. <laughs> you. Is... You do. You look like the spawn of an 80 year engaged difference. You look like you're the first person in your family to not wear dungarees every, <laughs> yeah, day. every fucking day. Like a little sheet of weed coming out of your mouth. Hey there! Yeah, I found a speck of gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Literally. fine with that. Yeah, the only guy who doesn't have a chainsaw problem. All right, should we wrap this up? Yeah. Okay, well, Finn, thank you for coming on the podcast. If you liked Finn, check out his special. It is on his YouTube channel, Finn Taylor. Right? Yeah, Finn Taylor Comedy. Yeah. yeah, Finn Taylor Comedy on all the socials. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm starting a, a new show as well that's coming out soon. But yeah, check out the special. It's free. Completely free. On YouTube. On YouTube. And it's very funny. I uh, watched the whole special. Which is a huge, that's a big compliment. I watched an hour comment. video on YouTube yeah. and it wasn't right wing propaganda. So, I mean, for me, it's that's a, a big, big, that's it's a big a step. Bits of it. Yeah. Bits of it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you and uh, see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye bye. That was another episode of The Year Is. Thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. Leave us a review. It all helps. I'd like to thank our producer, Jody, And also I'd like to thank uh, Josh Weller 
for our intro music and song. It's uh, it's very catchy. It's very nice. I'm sure you all enjoy it at the beginning. So big thanks for Josh Weller. He's on Instagram at Josh Weller. Josh Weller. Follow him and uh, keep spreading the word of the year is. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>